Hello everyone, I am Sunny and I am our remote software engineer. Today in this video, I will be talking about ThoughtWorks interview experience and I will be covering for both freshers and senior software engineer. So what you can expect from this video, I will be covering the entire interview process of ThoughtWorks and I will take you through each round and I will let you know about what are the expected questions you can get and how and what skills do you need to crack all these interviews. Okay, and at the end, I'll also help you with the resources, the things you need to follow to crack this interview. So anyone who is preparing for or planning for a job switch or preparing for ThoughtWorks interview, then this video is for you. And if you're someone who is new to this channel, I would request you to browse through the channel so that you can go through the different interview experiences I have on my channel, which you can find beneficial for your job switch. So without any further ado, let's start with this video. So in this interview experience, the first round you can expect is a phone screening from one of the recruiter of ThoughtWorks. So what happens when you generally apply for a job, you get a call from a recruiter and recruiter will try to understand your experience and will try to find out if you are a potential candidate then only he'll proceed with the interview. So in this round, you can expect to be asked about your experience, current role, current company, and then uh, what all experiences, like which all tech stacks have you used. If they are looking for a, let's say, Java backend route, then they will try to see if you have experience on those skills, okay? The first round would be of around around 15 to 20 minutes, you can expect, where you'll be discussing just the high level thing, okay? So after this round, the recruiters basically will judge you on uh, the skills you already have or the experience you already have, and we'll see if you're a potential fit, then they'll basically select you for the next round, which would be code pairing. So what is a code pairing round? As it says, code pairing means you will be writing a code with someone else. So there will be an interviewer who will pair with you on a problem, on a specific problem. So in case of a fresher, if you are a fresher, you will be given a simpler problem. Basically, a Git repository they'll provide, which you will be required to clone in your local system or laptop which you are using. And then you have to set up, like you have to set up means you have to do the uh, necessary things to run that particular project in your laptop so that you can start with your development part of it. Before coming to that, let me just explain that if you're a fresher, you, you can expect a repository or a project, uh, something like shopping cart or something similar. Okay, very, very simpler it would be. The expectation with you would be that uh, you'll be given a problem and in that problem, it could be something like create a cart where you can add products. Okay, and there will be some, some partial code already written on it. Okay, you will initially get 10 to 15 minutes to go through it or maybe some more time. But the idea is to that you should be able to go through the code base and the code base would be very simple, like may, mostly five to six files would be there. So the expectation would be that you go through the code base, you understand the code, you understand the given problem or the requirement, and then you come up with a solution, discuss it with your interviewer. If your interviewers aligns with your solution, then you will start coding. And when you will start coding, then interviewer basically will try to see how you code, what, how, what style you are following, uh, are you uh, following uh, basic practices, clean code practices, are you able to write unit tests for them, are you able to execute the code after writing the solution, each and everything. So basically, uh, the way we used to write code, right, in any organization when you are building something, right? So it will be something similar. For someone who is a senior engineer, it would be a bit different. Uh, you will be provided this repository link, the GitHub link for the code base, uh, maybe a week ahead. And what would be the expectation is that you go through your project. Basically, it would be a Spring Boot project. For a fresher, it would be a simple Java project. Someone who is experienced will be getting a Spring Boot Java project. Okay? And you will, you will get ample amount of time to go through it, to understand it before you are coming to the code pairing round. Right. So in this round, basically what you will get like for a senior engineer, they'll be basically provided with a Trello board where you will have different cards, task card, and you will get 15 to 10 to 15 minutes to go through them. The task, basically task means the requirement. You could pick one of the tasks that you want to implement. Okay. So now understand you already have a code base knowledge because you have already gone through the code base and now you are seeing the requirements. So you know the code base, you should be able to analyze and pick one of the tasks or the requirement which you want to implement and then you will start coding on it. So even before starting to code, what you can do is you can discuss the solution with the interviewer you will be saying that you this is the particular approach which you'll be using and then you can proceed ahead. One thing which your interviewer will definitely ask that if you are comfortable with uh, writing test or writing unit test or writing uh, doing TDD. 
test driven development even if you are not comfortable with tdd that is fine but having a knowledge of writing unit test good j unit test would be a plus point okay so focus on that eventually the uh, the expectation from the interviewer would be that you are writing clean code you are writing a uh, some reusable code you are able to refactor the existing code when you are int introducing that a particular feature or the requirement and you should also be able to write test okay if you are doing all these things then you are good for this round and uh, uh, at the end you should be able to execute the code and run it okay sometimes it happens that uh, some candidates could not manage to complete the entire thing within the time frame of one and a half hours so i forgot to mention that this round would be of around one and a half hours okay so within this time frame if you aren't able to complete the code doesn't matter but whatever you have written till now and whatever you have discussed like the solution and the approach if everything looks good then you are good for the next round okay so i hope you got some idea about the code pairing so basically to crack this round what knowledge do you need you need to know basic solid principles okay basic unit testing and how to write reusable code if there is any reusable which you can use right from the existing code base if you are able to do that so basic basic things like this if you are able to do then you are good for the next round okay now the next round will be take interview work okay so in this round this is the place where the interviewer will try to check on your breadth of knowledge and then depth of knowledge okay so this round will be around your experience so what is your current project what is your contribution how will you know your current project every minute details of your project if you are able to explain the architecture if you are able to explain the existing solution and what could be the alternate solution of that particular uh, project right let's say if you are discussing about your project let's say for example you are creating an e-commerce website and let's say you are talking about a order service which you have recently created or contributed to then they might ask a specific use case or the problem you're solving and then what could be the alternate solution why you have taken uh, this solution why not other solution things like that and they'll try to dig you uh, deeper into the experience right whatever you have done till now so uh, to crack this down one thing which will be required from you would be to have good knowledge of your current project or any other project for for that matter where you have spent good amount of time and you have contributed so much right so with this they'll be able to know know about the project and its tech stack so let's say if you say that you have worked on this project using java spring boot they might ask you questions from there also right so idea is to understand how will you understand your current current project and how will you are able to contribute right this will simply show the interviewer that you are good enough to understand a project and contribute similarly if we hire you or the organization hire you you will be able to do the same in the new organization so this is the basic idea of this round so overall to prepare for this round you have to go through your project in much detail so that you can discuss it and also the breadth of knowledge basically along with your project contribution how do you let's say manage deployment how do you do testing what kind of testing do you do like uh, unit testing functional testing integration testing performance testing and what not right so anything anything end to end for uh, regarding your project can be asked okay so be prepared for this when you are appearing for take interview one now we have a take interview two which is optional okay and also one thing which i missed to tell you about take interview one is in this interview you will you can expect two interviewers okay for this round we'll be conducting this round and both of them will have around around more than a decade of experience right 10 years 8 years of experience they will have right so so what happens after this round is that you might need to go through the technical interview too when the both the interviewers could not uh, make a decision or or let's say they also did not get chance to let's say evaluate specific things or specific areas okay so it might happen that interviewers could not manage to evaluate specific areas like maybe they wanted to check you on spring boot or java something like that right so if if they missed on checking the depth of any particular thing because previous round will also be like take interview one round will also be of one and a half hours okay so in case they feel that they still want to evaluate you on the depth of any anything which you are uh, doing right now they'll conduct take interview two and take interview two will be similar to take interview one where we you will have uh, a pair of interviewers uh, with uh, a decade of experience who will try to uh, try to check the depth of your knowledge for a specific thing in my case when i was being interviewed uh, i had a take interview two because the in my take interview one uh, what happened was i did not have much development experience during that time so basically my take interview two was on kafka 
which is a messaging queue and they wanted me to check on the depth of it like how well i know kafka right starting from the architecture to its implementations okay so that is what happened with me so you can expect the similar thing let's say you are if you are saying you are good at spring boot java or any other tech right which they they feel that they couldn't cover in the tech one interview and they want you to uh, appear for tech interview too then you can expect questions where you they will go into the depth so even for this round what you have to do is you have to basically brush up all the minute details of that particular thing let's say for example if it is java then you should be knowing uh, threading you should be knowing coops concept you should be knowing collections framework you should be knowing stream apis and what not right things like that so you can expect technical interview too for some depth evaluation okay now the next round would be a leadership round now in leadership round you will get two interviews one would be a very uh, high experience experience something around 22 decades of experience or 25 years of experience and one would be around around 10 years of experience right and in this interview they will basically evaluate your uh, leadership potential and the cultural fitment so basically you can expect behavioral questions like something like why you are changing your job have you ever faced any conflict within a team what kind of members you will not to work with or let's say how do you manage a team have you ever mentored anyone things like that right where they'll be trying to judge your leadership qualities okay so it would be basically a, a conversation sort of where nothing is right or wrong as such but you have to be very positive and very good with your communication skills so whatever you're conveying you should be backing it up with some data right with some real experiences all you have to do is you have to be honest you have to be communicating things very well and then simple you should be able to go through this round and then once this round is completed you will need to have one more round which is social values round okay so here also you will get some experienced thought workers okay with uh, decades of uh, experience and in this round you can expect about a uh, discussion around social causes right how technology can help to build a better society right so things like that like they can initiate discussions on any recent things okay so here you can expect questions where they would like to evaluate you about your thoughts on inclusion equality uh then diversity like how do you feel when you work with uh people with different backgrounds okay so such things so here also uh, all you have to do is you have to be uh very honest no uh no negativity no rude or harsh thing to uh, you should be saying you will just need to be honest and uh, present your thoughts about about that particular discussion which is happening you might also get questions about any social cause which is closest to your heart or let's say how you can contribute or use technology to solve any social issues right things like that so you just need to be honest here and provide practical solutions if you are able to provide and keep it like a simple discussion right so that's it like this is pretty much what you can expect from this round and this round is basically aimed to understand your social values and commitment to make a inclusive work environment so that's all about this video i hope you have understood about the entire process and uh, more or less it is similar for fresher and uh, senior engineer so i hope you find this video helpful and one last thing that if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing my channel like this video share this video and browse through my channel so that you can find more useful content like this and till then see you in the next video